Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Cat Kids Art Corner. Uh, my name is Devin, and I am here to lead us once again through a practice of mindfulness with a focus on the five senses, uh, and oftentimes with a good bit of art thrown in. Uh, though today is more sensory based, uh, so we won't really be creating artwork. We will be making a fun edible dough. Um, which is a new recipe that I haven't tried yet, so we're learning about it together. Um, I would like to thank my friend Kelly for sending it my way. Um, but before we get into our dough making activity today, um, let's, as always, get our minds and our bodies ready for what we're about to participate in. So, um, let's get our feet on the ground. And let's get, if you have any wiggles in your body, let's get those wiggles out a little bit. Give ourselves a hug if you need to. Take a deep breath in. Stretch really high. And out. Okay. And we're going to return to our, um, one of our most favorite breathing techniques, which is roller coaster breathing. So let's put our hand up. Grab your little roller coaster car, and we're gonna breathe in and out, in and out, in and out, in, out, in, and out. All right. So we talk about. Um, we do these breathing activities before our art activities, um, sort of as a, as a way to ground ourselves. And when I say grounding, I mean our, our minds aren't kind of floating around thinking about other things. We are in the moment right now. Um, and we talk about the five senses as a really great way to be in the moment um, because it challenges you to really pay attention to what is going on around you, not just what you see, um, but we also interact with the world not just through sight, right? Um, we know what's around us because we can hear it. Um, I can hear my dog breathing over there. I can hear my refrigerator running. Um, we interact through touch. I can feel the, I can feel, honestly, I can feel that I need to sweep because I can feel um, that the floor is dirty under my bare feet. Um, and we can, what else did I say? We can hear, we can touch, we can see, uh, we can smell. Um, so take a second and see if you can smell anything. I can smell the coffee that I had a little bit ago. Um, and taste. So, oftentimes when we talk about the five senses, either in a therapy group that I'm running or in a therapy session, taste is sort of like an afterthought because you're not always tasting something. Um, you might have had spicy food that you can still taste in your mouth, or you might have gum that you can taste in your mouth, but oftentimes we're just like, oh, taste, we'll move past that when it comes to mindfulness. But today, we're actually going to do some kind of like mindful tasting almost. Um, and one of the reasons that I thought it was particularly important for us to do a deep breathing activity today was because our sensory dough recipe that we are going to make today is very sugary. Um, so let me ask you this, what happens whenever you have a lot of sugar? Do you have trouble controlling your mind and your body a little bit? I know I do if I have too much sugar. Sometimes it can be really, really hard to calm down. So while we are going to be using sugar in this activity today, and we are going to be tasting it a little bit, if that is okay with your parent or guardian that you are doing this activity with, um, we're just going to be tasting a little bit um, because we don't want to make ourselves sick and we also don't want to make it too hard for us to control our bodies, um, which sugar can sometimes do, right? Um, so let's talk about the materials that we need today. We need frosting. Um, you can use any flavor. I chose cream cheese because I personally think that's the, fav that's the best frosting, um, but I would say I would recommend um, a vanilla kind of frosting. Um, that is really, I guess you could use chocolate, but I've chosen vanilla because I want to add some food coloring in to kind of play around with the color of the dough. Um, and that will not work as well if you choose a chocolate frosting. Um, so we need frosting. We need powdered sugar. We need a spoon. Um, and I have a bowl. And I'm measuring, I'm 
I'm using two measuring cups, but they both are cup sizes. Um, and if you want to play around with dyeing your sensory dough, you can also grab some food coloring as well. Um, so I'm going to give you a moment to grab those supplies and we will meet back here in just a second. All right, are we ready? Let's get started. I'm really excited. I'm also really hungry, so this is, this is working out well. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to take our bowl and we want to pour three cups of powdered sugar, which is a lot of powdered sugar. So because powdered sugar can make a mess, um, I am going to be pouring this right over the bowl so that if it spills, it won't be too bad. Um, so we got one cup. We have two cups. And it doesn't have to be exact. We got three cups. Also, I should know I'm doing enough so that I can um, share it with friends or keep it for later. But you do not need to use three cups. Um, if you would prefer, you can cut the recipe in half and do one and a half. Um, just be sure that you are cutting the recipe for the frosting as well. Um, so we have my we have the three cups of the powdered sugar. And we just need one cup of frosting. So I'm going to go ahead and spoon that out right now. Okay. And before we pour it out, let's take a second. Smell it. What do you smell? How would you describe that smell? Maybe does it remind you of anything? I find that with like with sweet foods, especially, it really kind of brings up memories for me of baking when I was younger. So this might bring up a memory for you. But we are going to let me move my computer a little bit. There we go. So let's dump this in. All right, and we are going to take some time stirring this together, okay? Now, because the powdered sugar is so powdery, it might want to jump out of the bowl, which is why I am delicately stirring it. I can stir it a little bit harder once this gets more mixed in, but if I go like this right now, I'm gonna be covered in powdered sugar, which I don't want, so. Let's just take a minute to mix this up. And this is a great opportunity to use your five senses as well. I like to use my five senses when I'm doing something that's kind of testing my patience. Like I would love to have this be done already because I'm really excited and anxious to see how it turns out. But because I have to wait, I'm gonna kind of tell my brain to work on something else while I wait. So, a great way to tell your brain to work on something else is to challenge it to identify things that it sees, things that it smells. So what are you seeing? What are you smelling? What are you hearing? Can you, can you, well, I wouldn't recommend touching it just yet. So let's not do touch. So once you have your dough pretty well mixed up, mine is still, let me show you what it looks like. Mine is still a little crumbly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am actually, it's not exactly the consistency that I want, so I'm going to grab one more spoonful of frosting and pour it in. And I also feel like now is a great time to add food coloring if that's something that you would like to do. So I have blue food coloring. And I am only going to put, I'm going to start with three drops. And let's see together if that does anything. This is kind of an experiment in itself, right? Okay. So I see the blue spreading out a little bit. And I feel like it's almost time. 
I'm ready to put my hands in here and mix it up a little bit more. So let's do that. So we're using, let's use our sense of sight. What colors are you guys seeing turn out from this? I'm seeing the blue kind of spread out more. I'm seeing that the dough is getting less and less crumbly and more mushy. It kind of reminds me of Play-Doh a little bit. It's kind of a Play-Doh texture. I'm also noticing that I probably should have taken my rings off because uh, this is going to be a little bit messy, but that is okay. Art can be messy sometimes. Um, and so you know that you are done whenever you have worked up a big dough like this. Um, so this is a fun way for you to kind of incorporate this mindfulness in here. Let's see. So I have this big bowl of dough. Now what am I going to do with it? Maybe I can turn it into a shape. Maybe I can mush it up. Maybe I have some um, baking materials, like a rolling pin. Maybe I have a fork that I can make imprints in. Um, and so let's talk for a second about how to use taste in a mindful way. So I want you to just take a little piece of your dough, about the size of a raisin. A little piece of your dough. I want you to put it on your tongue, but don't eat it just yet. Close your eyes and pay attention to what you taste on your tongue. Is it sweet? Is it? Mine's really sweet. That's a little bit overwhelming, actually. Um, think about how the flavor might kind of like move across your tongue. Think about other things you might notice are there is it salty at all does it trigger any memories kind of challenge yourself to see how long that frosting can lay on your tongue before you eat it um, so this is another great way to incorporate mindfulness into your day-to-day -day practice um, and how we can use all of our five senses not just the first four and say oh taste Never mind, we can definitely use that uh, in our mindfulness practice as well. So what I want to know is, well, I want to know a couple things. I want to know what color, if you dyed your dough, what color it turned out. I want to know what kind of shapes you can make out of this, if you can make a sculpture. Um, and I would love to know what your experience with this activity was. Um, this was honestly the first time I did this, and I'm really kind of excited about it. Um, I also feel like a fun way to add extra sensory, um, an extra sensory element to this would be to incorporate sprinkles even too, because you would be able to feel the sprinkles on your fingers. Um, I also feel like what I want to do is go wash my hands, but then come back and play with this, because now that this is all worked into a dough, it is not sticky anymore. Um, and we made a lot. Um, so I am going to go wash my hands and clean up the sugar that is all over my table. Um, and I hope you guys had fun this week. Uh, thank you as always for joining myself and my sleeping dog over there uh, for another episode of Cap Kids Art Corner. Uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, please find us at Cap Kids Art Corner. Um, and you can always email me with questions or comments or to share pictures of your finished product. Um, and my email is devon, D-E-V-O-N, at capkids.org. Have an awesome day.